Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another food related video. Now, if you crawl, um, if you recall about three years ago, back in 2016 or so, um, I think it was winter of 2016, it would have been around the same period, right? Uh, what we did, we put out a video where I was showing you uh, sort of jarring about 20 pounds of honey. And um, in previous videos to that, uh, one of them being the, um, the video where we made the honey chocolate chip cookies, right? Um, during that video as well, and I would have mentioned before in other food videos, that every year what we end up doing is basically, for the last five years anyway or so, what we've been doing is buying some local honey, right? So we, we know some people that, you know, they get their hands on some honey, organic, raw, unfiltered honey, right? And it's a local. So what we end up doing is every year around this time, fall, Basically, we end up buying a yearly supply of our honey, and that's exactly what we ended up doing this year, which is all the buckets that you see behind me. And this year we bought a lot, actually, because we ended up giving a lot of it away as presents. And I sort of went ballistic making those honey chocolate chip cookies, uh, the video that we made making the, um, those ones. And actually, one of the first things I did was make a batch as soon as we got this honey make a new batch of honey chocolate chip cookies and this is the last piece that's left right so this is what we end up doing and there's a little bit of crumbles there i'm going to eat so i made one tray the speedy gonzalez as soon as we got the honey right but what i want to do right now is um, basically before the honey sort of solidifies because if you get if you get your hands on good honey good raw honey what it's going to do Initially, it might be liquid when you get it, but what it's going to do is going to harden up. It's going to crystallize, right? It's basically, here, let me show you this. It basically ends up being like this, right? It solidifies, right? And that's a sign of a good honey when it does that. You know it's nice, organic, got lots of nutrients. Uh, other honey that you buy, some of the other ones, they don't crystallize as much. If you, if you notice this one, this one is actually... Uh, a few years older I think uh, this one is from last year but this one we've kept sort of uh, jarred little ones here let me show you this so these ones have sort of solidified right so we got these ones and we give these ones as little presents uh, sort of uh, stuffing presents the little guys right but before the honey solidifies right becomes like this here let me bring out a spoon let me show it to you so you see it. Here's a nice little spoon. Take a look at this. Right. So before it turns to like this, what I want to do is fill up some jars, right? In the previous honey video that we put out, we basically jarred 20 pounds of honey. And what we ended up doing this year, we bought <laughs> we bought 125 pounds of honey. We bought 25 five pound buckets right and we have like right now we got three left over from last year that are solid like this right so before these things solidify what i want to do is jar some of this honey because over the year what we end up doing is we give honey as present right because it's an, food is you would have heard me say this before food is one of the greatest gifts you can give anyone right and for us because we get our hands on fantastic honey really it's delicious honey right uh, we can get our hands on this and a lot of people can't that we know right uh, they live in big cities or they don't live near farms or they don't have the connections that we have they really appreciate and last for the last four years five years or so we've done this they really appreciate getting jars of honey and what I have right now is this is basically what we have left of four jars from previous years and this is the last bit of honey that we have jarred the little four jars so what I want to do is I want to jar some different sizes of honey right one of the jars we have is like this I have another box of these I got most likely I'll do eight of these okay because we got eight of these guys we got a couple of smaller versions right um, we got uh, 125 mil we got I believe this is a 250 mil and we got some 500 mil that I would also like to jar now I don't think we're going to jar all of it last time we did uh, what I ended up jarring was basically 
20 pounds in that video, right? So 20, pound, 20 pounds will be four of these buckets. I might do more, I might do less, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, most likely I'll still do 20 pounds. With 20 pounds, basically jarring 20 pounds of honey, um, and these little guys were part of it. I did those later on. I don't know if I included in that video. Um, but basically, jarring that honey, you know, gave us enough gifts to give to people for a good year and a half or so. Okay, plus and minus. So in the last year, we were sort of lazy about things. We were busy. The last year's batch of honey that we got, we didn't end up jarring it right away. And it, it crystallized right became like this It was harder to jar from this and we don't want to really heat it up to jar it because you know you might some people say you might lose some of the nutrients in there right so we didn't want to heat it up so we didn't give as much honey last year this year we want to go ballistic giving honey okay that's a long intro to this video because what this video is about is just about jarring honey okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start jarring some honey and i thought you would you know it'd be fun to make a video you like to see what it is that I'm doing I've cracked open one of these already there's they basically end up being sealed and this one you I cracked the seal I made the tray of uh, honey chocolate chip cookies <laughs> from this one and when it's not sealed you know when it's not broken it's got the seal in it right that thing like that okay so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna jar the honey here and I'm gonna grab some more and we're gonna break the seals and start jarring them. Okay. And here, let me show you. Let me show you. Right. And the honey, I'm gonna do this, make sure it doesn't, I don't know if you can see it. You see that? It's gonna, you'll see it when it comes out. It's more liquid, it's dropped down a little bit because I, use at least a cup I, I think a cup to use to make the chocolate chip cookies but we'll end up just jarring these let me put this here let me put my glasses to one side let's take this honey here we'll put this guy over here and i have my tea going as well right do a sip of tea and since we did the liqueur video I've sort of been going through the tasting the liqueur that we had right this one is the cornelian cherry the stronger flavor one you just put a cube of ice and pour cornelian cherry liqueur on top of it it cools it down dilutes a little bit it's sharp it's nice okay so let's start jarring some honey let's start jarring these guys first okay this size and what I have is I have a sort of a plate here so it captures any honey just in case it spills it and what I want to do is I want to put out a napkin here too okay just so we don't get the tick -tick -tick jingling sound I usually don't put a napkin but because we're shooting the video for this I don't want the plate sound to go be too annoying right and I have different size uh, Take a look. Let me show it to you. This is honey. It's nice and liquid right now. This is going to solidify, crystallize uh, within the next few months, right? And when it crystallizes, we basically eat it in that. We don't heat it up unless we're using it for cooks and stuff, right? So what I want to do, right? I have bigger spoons in this, but since I haven't done this in a year, I want to make sure I don't do any spillages right off the bat. Sometimes we end up having spillages, right? And it is beautiful color, and really, it tastes fantastic. And if you have allergies, one thing people recommend is uh, to eat local honey, because when the bees pollinate the flowers and whatnot and oh we had spillage i shouldn't have done that look at that look at that look at that look at that i'm gonna put this in a little plate okay Oop. 
spillage on the first go. Let's bring a wet rag here and put to this. We're just gonna wipe this away. I need to wet this as well. Right. Just give it a wipe. Okay. Which is good enough. That way your hands just don't get sticky when you're handling it. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna close the lid on this. Good enough. Maybe I should have given the top a wipe too. Eh? Should we do that? Yeah, let's give the top a wipe as well. That way whoever gets this jar as a present, they don't get sticky right away, right? Let's close this. So that's one jar. Okay. Let's put this guy here. Let's do more. What I'm gonna do is, because this guy, the honey is already on it, I'm gonna close this up. I'm gonna get rid of this. Put it on the side here. Here, we'll put it there. And let's just make this. We'll do better on the next one. I won't get distracted by looking at the video, looking at the camera. Let's do one more. One more of these guys. And I have a little plate set up here where I'm putting the, the spoon that's honey on the plate. So, and then later on the honey builds up there and you eat that, right? You're not going to waste that one. Don't waste honey. <laughs> close playing with fire right and that'll take just a little bit not a full spoon but a little spoon nice okay put that there and we've got one more jar filled, right? Beautiful. Okay. I like these jars, they're pretty. So let's do all of these guys. three jars. Very full. Nice. Let's check it out. Here's the other one. Beautiful. 
Mm, where's our lit? Here's our lit. That's four. I don't know how much these uh, how much these guys hold. Can I take more? A little more, just a tad. Cool. That's good. Let's put the lid on it. We got a nice assembly line system going now. almost empty right and what we end up doing is just using a spatula when it gets to the stage and then just pouring it all in using a spatula which I might do right now actually might as well instead of having empty buckets sitting around so let's grab a spatula right so all I do is just scrape around the side usually use if the spatula is rounded I use this side the sharp edge to get the bottom part right take a look we get it like that and we just let it drip bring it with the spatula in good for now I'll take care of the rest of this later when we get the rest of the buckets going so let's put this guy here for now okay and I do have these guys here we'll put the spatula in there too okay and we have this as well so let's grab this as well whatever was in the plates almost almost we got spatula there and our spoon here and that's basically a full jar right so let's close this one up so we got six of these ones out of a one pound or a five pound bucket right and I had used about a cup uh, for making the chocolate chip cookies the honey chocolate chip cookies we did so I'm assuming around seven of these would make uh, 
five pounds of honey. Okay, seven or eight, because we've eaten some too. For a little bit of drops, probably seven or eight, right? So what I need to do is crack this one open, right? Right there. And I have a knife here, so I'm just gonna use the knife that I have here, right? So let me show you this. All I do is just put the knife in the crack, right? In the seal there and try to break that. Right. Okay. It's nicely sealed. Okay, and this guy comes off, right? And what we end up doing, now opening this is sometimes hard, it's sealed up, right? So it's tight. So Sorry about the noise. Okay, that's the lid for the other one. We'll put the lid here. Okay, let me show you this. All right, I'm just gonna make sure we don't have any spillage. It's going up to the ledge, right, to the edge of the bucket. So what we're gonna do is uh, just keep on doing what we're doing, right? Just uh, fill up more jars. We've got two more of these guys, so let's do these guys. Okay. Because they, they're pretty jars. And I've washed all of these, right? So you do want the jars to be sterile. With honey, it's... Honey is used as a preservative as well, right? So it's not like uh, jams. When we made the jam, uh, crab apple, uh, butter crab apple jam that we made, you really have to sterilize the, the jars, right? With honey... Um, you don't need to go to that level. As long as they're washed, they're okay. All right, don't you have to heat up the jars or... Oop. A little bit of spillage here and we took it down the area. Okay, so we gotta clean that up. Looks like every, the first jar we filled up with each bucket so far, we had a little bit of spillage. Is that enough? we we'll put a little bit more. We don't want to be stingy on these, right? But I don't want it to be overfilling, so that's good. That's perfect. Let's put that guy there, give our hands a little wipe, because we don't want to make everything sticky. And this is a clean rag light that we picked up from the cabinet. So put that there, let's put the lid on it cool let's do one more but what i'm going to do is uh i'm going to retire this napkin it's got some honey on it so i don't want the bottoms to become sticky let's give our hands a little wipe and now, if we weren't shooting the video, I'd probably do this right by the sink, so you just wash everything up. But since we're doing the video, I'm sort of taking extra measures to keep things non-sticky and clean and make the cleanup a lot easier, right? That's one of the tricks of doing work in the kitchen. You want to clean as you go and... Uh, be as clean as possible with the work you do because it makes the cleanup that much easier. Really. One of the reasons I found that most people, or a lot of people, you know, they like eating out, they don't cook at home too much, is because the cleanup. Right. Oh! <laughs> Crazy. Missed so much honey on that one. Oh my, oh my. Okay. Let's lift this up. Look at that. Look at the waste of honey. Well, that can't be wasted. That has to be eaten by Chicho. Oh, let me grab a spoon. Without a doubt. Grab this. 
right? I'm going to put this here. I'm going to scoop this up off the napkin because it's just napkin, it's clean. have to retire this napkin but we're gonna give this a wipe okay and then afterwards uh, once I do all the jars I'll probably give all the jars a little wipe with uh, with a rag that's been under warm water right I'm just going to give the hands a little wipe, a little wash, and give the rag, make it a little bit more wet. Okay. That's good. So, oh, where's the lid? Here's the lid. Let's put this back on it. Right. Nice. I'll have to give this one away. I'm gonna put a little bit on the side. Okay. And let's do this I'm using too many napkins. I usually don't do this, but it is what it is. Got to show you. We'll be we'll go nice and slow on the next few ones, right? So we don't have any spillage. Now these are the harder ones to do. Check this out. This jar is smaller than this, right? Take a look. So the smaller the jar, the harder to fill it up with a bigger spoon, right? So what I'm gonna do, I am still gonna use this big spoon or medium-sized spoon. I have one spoon that's bigger than this, take a look. I brought this spoon out there too, right? For the jars that have really big lids, I use these guys. Sometimes when I'm, you know, more pressed for time <laughs> and by the sink what i end up doing is using the big spoon so if i have spillage it's easier to do easier to clean up right. it's fun to do though nice that's nicely filled up A little stuffing stuffer so we've got three of these sizes right here's two little guy little guy little guy mini medium guy bigger guy All right so let's put this guy here and we got one more of these oh. let's bring this out <laughs> Playing with fire, Chicho. Playing with fire. Slow it down a bit. Mm, we only need a little bit more, right? So. it so we can give it a little wipe and that's it okay and check this out I got one more of these little guys little little so we'll do these guys too let's do this one as well this one's gonna be like half a spoonful or something you gotta be careful with this one don't want to overfill it. Nice, that's good. Cool. Like these little guys would be 
given with something else as well right maybe cookies honey chocolate chip cookies now since we're doing a little guys let's do these guys as opposed to these guys right let's close the drawer This guy off. Right. Nice. Seriously, who wouldn't want to get this? Organic, raw, unpasteurized, unfiltered, local honey. Local to my area, anyway. Oh, yeah. Did we say? Did we finish our thought? Supposedly, if you have allergies, it's good to eat local honey, right? Because bees, when they pollinate, they grab all the pollen and stuff like this. So your body slowly gets introduced to the pollen. So it doesn't react. Allergies don't kick in. guy off. One stop shopping, right? Get the honey, bulk, give it as presents all year round. The only people that I've ever met that don't eat honey are uh, vegan because it's uh or purist vegan i forget what the name is where they don't eat any animal byproducts and honey is made by animals right nice so we got all the little guys filled up let's do some of the bigger guys right. i believe 250 mil For the bigger guys, let's do it with pouring it in, right? Let's see if we can do this. Here's a knife. Now what we're going to do, we're going to pour it in, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the knife to cut the honey and fills it up faster. Oh, we had a little bit of spill here. Let me give that a wipe. Right. I'm going to grab a new rag as well 
from the cupboard let's throw that there so this one's done easy right beautiful and let's grab another rag Let's grab one of these guys. Let's wet this guy so we have the wet rag ready if we need it. Okay, put that there. Nice. Let's do some more. Is this enough to fill one? I think so. I think so. But we're gonna have our knife handy just in case. Just in case. All right. spatula for the rest of this so let's do the spatula All right. Come on. here's the spatula because this can fill this up to the rest of this right if you see okay Perfect. Cool. So that's that one. And this one I'm going to clean up later. Okay. Let's put this guy here. Let's close this lid here. And another one done. And another one done. And another one done. Right. That's good. Lots of honey. Let's grab another one. So that's 10 pounds of honey so far we've gone through. Let me grab one more knife. And again, break the seal. Where is it? There it is. Yeah. Here's our seal. Boop. Gotta break that. And it's going to be loud. My apologies. Right. Cool. Take a look. Five pounds, buckets of honey. Right. Now this one, because it's a lot, if I do a pour, uh, I can't control it, and the jar is not big enough to handle it all. I'm going to do it with a spoon. serious spillage yes. that's good and we'll close this
have some of the honey from the plates. And grab this. do some big ones after this one right because we definitely want some of the bigger ones as well it all depends on the occasion right This one we're gonna pour. It gives us more room for air, right? So jar begin right nice we can do a mid-size one let's do a mid-size one yeah this should fill this we see let's see let's grab our knife again maybe even a little more So that's almost to the end. I'll take care of this later. Okay. I'm gonna put the lid on this. Put this guy here and put the knife down. And let's close this guy up. And let's crack open another one. Right? Let's crack open another one. Okay, let's break the seal. see it myself. again again it's gonna be loud right. 
We're going to do it with the spoon at first. Okay. Because turning this sideways full bucket of honey might be a little dangerous to do. And I might do this. I'm going to bring out the big guns for this one. Right? <laughs> Let's see. Put this guy over here. I have another plate set up here. I was expecting to break out, bring out the big guns, right? Let's put this here. Let's grab one from the back. Right. Bring this up. Let's do again. show you this I don't know if you'll be able to see it you won't this one is darker than this one right and this one was from another bucket right so the odds are this bucket I believe it's lower down or earlier I'm not sure how it works someone that knows honey well, better than me can comment can let us know which one it is this one is darker than this it could be the pollen that the bees were eating on it could be uh, the time of year it was harvested it was an early batch or later batch I'm not 100% sure okay but there is a color difference my guess is darker is probably just different pollens different time of season where the bees had access to different types of flowers right you know what we're gonna do we're gonna turn this this thing's reached the point where I can actually do this. So let's do it. It's gonna be more than this, but we do it for now. Let's see how much we get. Nice. That's good. Let's close this off and this is lighter right cool let's see how much is left in this mm. you know what there's this much left in this I'm gonna take care of this later as well okay that way I can do it by the sink so we've gone through basically 20 pounds of honey so far a little bit less because of uh, I already used up some of the other one. I'm just going to break the seal again.
let's keep on going with the big guys because we do give out the big guys a lot all right we have a lot of friends that love 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 honey absolutely love honey as do we This one is darker. I'll show you after we fill it up. Nice, this one's got a nice color to it. This one is a darker type too. Take a look. Here's the light one. Here's the dark one. Very cool, eh? Very cool. Let's do more. Let's do more of the big one. I might fill up all these jars. I don't know. Definitely make liqueur from this instead of using sugar, using honey, right? Which I might do later. Which I might do later. Beautiful. Let's do more. that one good so let me give my hand a little wash so give this a wipe with the rack and seal it up nice now how much is left here let's see this will fill up one of these guys for sure so let's fill up one of the middle middle guys There'll be some left over too, most likely. So let's do this. Oh, we're having spillage here. Perfect. Let's do this and this. 
Let's put this here. We've got to give this a wipe. There's a little bit left in there. I'm going to take care of that later. Okay. So let's put that there for now. And let's close off this guy. Nice. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab another rag. I'm going to wet it a little bit. Okay. I'm just going to give the bucket a little wipe. So we know there's no honey left on there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna crack open another one. So we've gone through five buckets so far, right? Let's do one more. Let's do one more. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to grab that, pour it in there for now. Okay. Give the spoon a swirl. This one's a little bit more solid. So it might have been sitting in the buckets longer, it might have been harvested earlier. This one's on the lighter side. Oh, that's a lot. That's good. Take a look. Nice. Let me bring over this guy. So you see. So this is what we just filled up. This is the other one. Take a look. Lighter darker much lighter right is it compatible to the other light one let's take it up yeah they're about the same right so the buckets vary that's cool again if you know why the colors would be different uh, let us know different time of year would correspond to different types of flowers available, right? test of the dark versus the light as well just to see are you guys curious to see which one's what yeah let's bring out a spoon let me see if I can tell you which ones the tastes are different, right? So this is light, right? Let's check it out. Wow. Fantastic. And this is the dark. You can tell, right? So let me just try out the dark. is uh, more liquid wow the 
the sweetness for this is a little different than the sweetness for this just a touch I'm not sure I don't know but it is a little different it is a little different these jars left and by the way these guys these fruits this persimmons these ones there's two different types there's the small ones that they're still sweet they're still good to eat if they're hard these ones you want them to be really really squishy really really squishy when you eat them what you can do when they're totally squishy like really you could go squirts out right you can cut the top the skin and then eat it with a spoon and if it's not super squishy like almost like really just not liquid but <laughs> or to the point of being completely overdone that's the way you eat it and if you want to eat it before that you can cut it up into slices and eat it usually cut it up into four pieces right should we pour this one in we can let's do it let's pour this one in too do about half of this okay let's do about half of this let's use the spatula right let's see maybe more It's almost gone I'll take care of this later as well that's our six bucket and I have the spoon here so let's fill the rest of this jar up with what was on the plate right this is our last bucket that we're gonna do because we're out of jars actually I do have a little bit more here but uh, that's a good supply of honey for a year's worth of presents anyway right and for some people we give them straight out big buckets for special occasions for special occasions right okay it's gonna be loud This is a darker one. I think so anyway. We do, we do. Let's bring these out. Oh, this is a little bit of honey spillage here. 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip this over that way. The bottom of the jars is not gonna get all sticky by the honey, right? Just makes less work for later. And this is the darker, because the honey is a little bit looser, a little bit lighter. I don't think the color difference is uh, related to how how solid or how liquid the honey is. I don't think so anyway. You know what? I'm like, oh, we need the poo. I really don't care the color of the honey. As long as it's good honey, I'll munch it all up. I'm gonna bring it close. Look at this. Right. Incredible. From the same seller, same uh, beekeeper, right? From the same, I don't know if you call them bee farms, but from the same farm. sort of throws me off working with the harder one as opposed to the less viscous one. this guy oh, let me give this a wipe a little bit on the ledge perfect my honey collection our last big one right. we got five of these guys left
close village there. here and there, eh? Let's see. Needs a little bit more. Let me do it. Oh, let me do it with the big guy. That's good. Don't want to shortchange any, anyone that's going to get honey, right? So this guy's almost done. Again, I'm going to put that aside deal with it later. Okay. Let's grab one more. Right? Nice. Let's, where's the seal? Where's the seal? There's the seal. And this one's done. So let me close off this one. Okay. And let's close this off. We've got four more of those guys. Let's break this seal. I didn't think we were going to do it all. got seven buckets this is the eighth bucket so it's going to be eight and a bit so eight times five is 40 loud so it's going to be 40 and these are 250 mils so 40 and a bit we'll call this we'll call this video the last video we called jarring 20 pounds of honey this video will call jarring 40 pounds of honey. Okay. Because we got seven. Oh, actually, it won't be 40 pounds because we've done six. This is the eighth one. So seven times 35, jarring 35 pounds of honey. Right. We should call it 40, though. But we'll call it 35. We'll lowball it. enough for that nice Oop. and again this one lighter than the other one look at this not much a little bit oh this one's got a little bit of honey on the bottom here wipe that nice and let me flip no that guy's like that that's okay yeah we'll put the jars there on the side there there is no honey spilled i don't want to grab another napkin we're almost done with our presents for the year right. well quick presents anyway
this size, okay, 14, 250 mil. Five, 150 mil. Two of these ones, or 125 mil. I think this is 125 too. So we have two of these guys, so you can call that seven to uh, 125 mil. I think we did just one of these guys, little guys, 50 mil maybe. One. Eight of these ones, and I think these would be 250 mil, maybe. Same size as this, these two, maybe. All right. So eight of those ones, and two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, five hundred mil. Okay. And that got us seven and a half buckets of honey which makes it about seven times five is 35 pounds and a half. So it's about uh, 37 and a half pounds of honey. That's what we ended up doing. I hope you enjoy it and I hope uh, you get your hands on some delicious, delicious honey. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.